Astronaut and hometown hero Sunita Williams answered a wide range of questions at a news conference on Monday, March 31st. This was the first time she spoke to the public since returning to Earth on March 18th. Here's more on her reflections of her unexpected nine-month stay in space. Sunita Williams was in high spirits at the press conference, and despite people's concern about her prolonged time in space, she was happy to have the extra time at the International Space Station. She is doing well now that she is back. Our teams here are getting us ready to get, you know, rehab and get ready to take on new challenges. So, uh, you know, feeling good um, since we've been back almost two weeks now. I actually went out and ran three miles yesterday, so I will give myself a little pat on the back. Our trainers are, are rocking it and, and getting us ready to get back uh, it, to help out um, with our, the new astronauts as they're getting ready for their missions. Williams had a message for young Needamites. I'm back. <laughs> First and foremost, we, we were always coming back, and I think people need to know that. And we're back to actually, you know, share our story with so many people because, you know, it's it's it like like you all mentioned, it's slightly unique, and there's some lessons learned to it. And part of that is just resilience and being able to take a, a turn that was unexpected and make the best of it. And I think that is the biggest thing that I want to, um, you know, pass down, particularly to to kids who think. That their, you know, their life should be the straight arrow to where you, what you want to do, and you're just going to get there. Well, you know, sometimes it takes some turns, some rights and some lefts, and you just keep focused on your goal, and um, other doors might be open for you. So I think that's the, the biggest message. What Williams was most excited about her return was hugging her dogs and husband and eating a grilled cheese sandwich. Now she's looking ahead to her next adventures. For me, it's making plans. <laughs> My family had been making plans for while I was gone because we thought we were only going to be gone for about you know a week and a half, two weeks or something. And so there was definitely plans throughout the summer. There's plans throughout the fall. Um, we, you know, personally, we have a house up in in New England, and uh, my husband's uh, been talking about when we're going to get up there and do a lot of fun stuff up there. And I think that's probably appropriate when it gets hot and humid here in the summer. Ready, right? take a little reprieve up there. So those are mostly the conversations about just like what's next, what's next on the list, what else do you want to do, you know, where else in the world would you like to go see? Because you know, when you come back from space, it's really hard to sit where you just are because there were. So so many amazing places that you saw, you know, like Patagonia, for example, for me, it was like, there's a, there's a bigger bucket list that I had when I left, which is unfortunate for my family, but we're all going to, or fortunate for my family, we're all going to be taking some trips. So I think that's, that's mostly the conversations about just being home and enjoying each other's company and going and seeing new things.